If you really want to learn how to import from Bangladesh to whatever country of your choice, consider to watch this video from the beginning to the end because I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to get started with Bangladesh importation without any stress. So let's see. But before we dive into the tutorial, as you know, my name is Rafi Yaku. I'm an importer and a procurement coach. If you want me to procure Lincoln 1688, Tauva, or Pinudu, or Ibitish, or you want me to pay a Chinese supplier, or you want me to coach you step by step on how you can be a procurement agent, consider to contact me on WhatsApp with the number in the description of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more importation business tutorial like this. So with that being said, let's dive into the tutorial and see step by step on how you can start importing from Bangladesh to whatever country of your choice. What are the things you need to take into consideration before you actually start your Bangladesh importation business? So let's me. All right, so when we are talking about Bangladesh importation business, there are things you need to understand about this particular concept. One of the things you need to understand on about Bangladesh importation is currency spent by Bangladesh and how you make payment to supplier. Currency spent on Bangladesh is called ticker. So you can convert this ticker to whatever currency of your choice. That is just the meaning. Because on Bangladesh, you cannot pay your country currency. You have to pay them in ticker. By doing that, you have to make your payment through a proxy. What do I mean by a payment proxy? Is a situation whereby you have to engage your shipping agents to make the payment for you. Because most of these Bangladesh procurement are shipping are done with payment on delivery. Or a situation whereby your shipping company go to the supplier store and pick up the item and make the payment. This is one of the safest way to do the Bangladesh importation. Bangladesh regards you as a home of fabric. In a situation whereby you are looking for a quality 100% cutting at a very high quality and cheap price, you have to consider import from Bangladesh. So Bangladesh is referred to as home of apparel, which has to do with basically clothes. It is not that only clothes you can import from Bangladesh, but their main item that we are so much expertise is clothes, such as uh, kids polo, kids jeans, adult clothes, t-shirts, etc. These are the things you can actually import from Bangladesh at a very high quality. And you can be surprised that this Bangladesh, they were a manufacturer for American, European, and Asian country. So you can imagine the kind of standard they put into place before they can manufacture for those countries. So whatever you are getting from Bangladesh, it is 100% quality as far as Bangladesh is concerned. So let's quickly talk about Bangladesh MOQ. In Bangladesh, there is nothing called 2 MOQ, 3 MOQ, just like what we did in China. If you want to import from Bangladesh, you have to buy a large quantity. So some of them, let me give an example. Like this example, I'm going to put an example on the screen of this video. So this example right here, we have boys, T, Will, and Dennis Joggers. The quantity available from this store here is 1,500 pieces. Then the color variation is 10 plus, which simply means that you can choose variety of color. Then right here, the size available is between the age of 2 years to 8 years. So then the minimum MOQ is 100, okay? And they put their phone number for WhatsApp or call. So this is how Bangladesh lists their items. It's not like Chinese shopping app that where you can go to their shopping app, source for a variety of items. So the sourcing method on Bangladesh has to do with, you can source for Bangladesh supplier using your Alibaba app. You can also use your Facebook to source for Bangladesh supplier you can as well use YouTube right here to source for Bangladesh supplier. So these are the three major ways by which you can use to source for Bangladesh supplier. Now, when you source for a Bangladesh supplier, so it is not your responsibility to talk to them, whether on Facebook or WhatsApp or anywhere you connect with them, whether on Alibaba shopping app, you have to discuss business with them. And most of these supplier right here, they do not speak English. So you have to make use of uh, Google Translate where you type in English, it's convert to Bangladesh. So when it's convert to Bangladesh, then you begin to talk to them, you facilitate business. So immediately you seal a deal with a Bangladesh supplier, then now your responsibility to tell the supplier to write an invoice with the name of your shipping company because we are the one that will make a payment for you. Okay, so there is no direct payment to Bangladesh supplier unless if you source for the item using Alibaba. So the payment is done by proxy. It's a situation whereby you hire a shipping company to make a payment for you and pick up your item. So that is how sourcing and payment on Bangladesh goes. So there are two ways by which you can use to ship item from Bangladesh. One of the first ways is 
shipping by here which sometimes take like two weeks maximum when especially if you are shipping from china from uh, bangladesh to nigeria so two weeks maximum why the sea shipping take about two to three months maximum from bangladesh to nigeria and the shipping fee depends on the shipping company that you choose for your business and another important thing you need to take into consideration when you are import from bangladesh is what we call GSM. This GSM is just a kind of uh, a, a keyword that denotes the meaning of gram per square meter. That's just the meaning of GSM, gram per square meter. What this simply means is that if an item is 130 to 150 GSM, the quality cannot be compared with an item that have 100 to 110 GSM. And likewise, an item that has 180 to 200 GSM cannot be compared with an item with 130 to 150 GSM. What I'm trying to say in essence here is that the higher the GSM, the higher the quality of the item. So you have to take note of this one because every supplier they will list the item and they will list you, they will list the GSM quality of the item. So these are very much important because you will not so that you will not buy an item that by the time you watch the item in two or three times, the item fade off. So that is the work of GSM and that is what you need to take into consideration when you are trying to ship from Bangladesh to whatever country of your choice. So this is what I have for you as far as import from Bangladesh and how you can get started is concerns. I was able to discuss about the payment which has to do with proxy between you and the shipping company to the supplier and I have told you how you can source for an item using your Facebook account or using YouTube account or using Google or uh, better still, you can use Alibaba to search for verified supplier from Bangladesh and from there you can get the phone number of the supplier and talk to them on WhatsApp or what have you. Then the shipping method, we were able to discuss about two shipping methods whereby you can use to ship your item from Bangladesh to Nigeria or to whatever country of your choice such as air shipping or sea shipping. So this is what I have for you as far as Bangladesh importation business is concerned. I hope you really got value for this video. If you find this video useful, give this video a big thumb up. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, remember to click on that subscribe, turn on the notification bell. So each time I post content about importation business like this, you'll be notified. And lastly, but not the least, if you want me to procure a link on 1688 Salva or Pindudu or ID Fish, or you want me to pay your Chinese supplier, or you want me to coach you step by step on how you can be a procurement agent, consider to contact me on WhatsApp with the number in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.